Christian, we, we speak. We speak because the Holy Spirit nudges us to, to speak. So we speak. Because if we don't, then we are idle. Our car is running, but we're not going anywhere. Why? How come? When we're silent, people get hurt. People pass on. So now we don't share our faith, then we're going to be held accountable because we don't speak within our own souls. Because when someone gets put away for life in prison because we never said anything about their sin, they keep swimming in it because I have a niece that uh, she was gay and I never said nothing because I love her so I kept quiet about it I let her be the way she wanted to be because who am I to judge because I was into all kinds of things, and I, I'm not a hypocrite. I can't preach anything if I'm doing criminal organized things within getting drunk and hurting others because we're drunk. So I'm sober now, I'm sober for a long time. I don't drink to get drunk, but if I do drink, it'll be for a, a special occasion, like it says in the Bible. Drink to make the heart happy, not to get blacked out, drunk where you're killing your neighbors and stealing from anybody just to make money to, to do drugs, to do cocaine, to do crack, to, you know? to get more alcohol to drink and build up that curse juice and you end up committing violence towards people. And that's 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 not that's no good because that just adds more violence to more violence that you already committed. Because when you go to jail you have to be solid and strong and ready to fight anybody. So you, you, you get harder and more criminally organized while you're in jail. So when you come out, you're, you're more like that. You're worse than when you went in. You come out, you're even more thuggish, ruggish type of behavior. Why can't you see? 